for Thanksgiving. You ready? One, two, three. Thanksgiving. And guess what Dr. Martin Knox likes? Everything you just mentioned. That's why I wanted you to say it at the same time. Everything you just mentioned, absolutely. But so you can hear me, my favorite is sauerkraut. Ew. Faces. I love sauerkraut and I love cranberry sauce and I love ham and I, okay, I'm, I'm focused now. So I want to read with you this morning. Are you ready? Raise your hand and put thumbs up for me to let me know whether you're ready. Okay, so I want to make sure that you all know we're going to have fun as we read a turkey for Thanksgiving. And this book is illustrated by Diane DeGrant and written by E. Bunting. Are we ready? So I need to make sure I have your attention. I'm going to ask you to unmute mute, and I'm going to say one, two, three, all eyes on me. One, two, three, all eyes on me. You got it, one, two, all eyes on you. Thank you for doing that for me. So we can read a turkey for Thanksgiving. We're ready, correct? Okay. Let's begin to read. And I'm going to hold it up so you can see the pictures as well. Or the illustration. It was Thanksgiving morning. Mr. Moose helped Mrs. Moose set the Thanksgiving table. Sheep will sit here. He likes a chair that's straight up and down, Mr. Moose said. Rabbit here. Porcupine here. Mr. and Mrs. Goat here. He smiled at his wife. Isn't it nice to have friends to share Thanksgiving? See Mr. Moose. And they have assigned seats. Mrs. Moose set two paper pilgrims, one at each end of the table. She placed the paper turkey with its great fan of a tail between the candles and stood back. They look good, my dear, Mr. Moose said. Mrs. Moose sighed. Yes, but I wish we had a real turkey. Everyone always has a turkey for Thanksgiving. Everyone but us. Mr. Moose nuzzled Mrs. Moose's head. Well, that won't do. I will go this minute and find you a turkey for Thanksgiving. You all have a turkey in your room too. I, Mr. Wright, is that you? Absolutely, the right turkey. <laughs> Mr. Moose put his cap and put on his cap and went out. Mist wandered through the bare trees. The cold made his nose water. Rabbit poked his head from his rabbit hole. Mrs. Moose, is it dinner time? Not quite yet. Mrs. Moose wants a turkey. I'm off to find one. Rabbit joined him in three quick hops. I'll come too. Seems like he's having company with him to go out on his task. Moose's warm breath hung white in front of him. Snow crunched under his hooves 
and made little holes that Rabbit just jumped over. I see the goats, Rabbit said. Mr. Goat raised his head and spat out the tin can he was chewing. Is it dinner time, he called. Not till I find a turkey, Mr. Moose said. We saw one down by the river. Mrs. Goat told him and Mr. Goat added a fat one. They seem like they're on a mission. And I love the way you're being attentive. Absolutely amazing. The goats leaped down from their perch. We'll show you. Sheep was farther up the hillside, looking round as a fur ball in his winter coat. Is it dinner time, he, he bellowed. First, I have to find a turkey, Mr. Moose bellowed back. There's a turkey nest on the riverbank, Sheep called. Wait for me. The earth smelled of ice and moss as they crunched along. Above them, a crow hung black as a puff of wood smoke. Porcupine was hiding in the underbrush. It's you, he said, and put his quills down. We're off to get a turkey for Mrs. Moose, Mr. Moose explained. Do you want to come? I'm slow, Porcupine said. Pick me up on your back. Who'd want to pick you up, Sheep asked and laughed his bleat of a laugh. I wait, Porcupine, told Mr. Moose. I wouldn't mind having somebody carry me on their back when I'm tired. Raise your hand if you wanna be carried on somebody's back. Yeah, I'm sure. They saw Turkey's nest right away and Turkey himself peering over the top of it. Turkey! Turkey, Mr. Moose called in his sweetest voice. Ah, Turkey blundered from his nest and ran. Mr. Moose lumbered after him. Turkey, don't run. We just want you for Thanksgiving dinner. And Turkey ran faster. He had to get away, huh? I would run too. Uh-oh. Mr. Moose saw the red and blue sheen of Turkey's neck. Turkey's tail brushed crumbs of snow behind him as he tried to fly. Too fat, Mr. Goat said. Turkey's legs bent in the middle as he fell. Mr. Moose put a booted hoof on his head and smiled his great toothy smile. I hope you don't have other plans for Thanksgiving, Turkey. Uh-oh. Mr. Turkey got caught. He helped Turkey up. My wife won't mind that you're too fat, he said. Let's go. It's getting close to dinner time. They marched Turkey in front. I'm sorry about this, for I can see you don't want to come, Mr. Moose said. But I must insist, a promise is a promise. How many of you make promises and you keep them? Not too many, huh? There was a wreath of dried fruit on the moose's door. Inside, the house was filled with Thanksgiving smells. Mr. Moose hid turkey behind him. Look who I brought, Mrs. Moose, he said. Sheep, the goats, rabbit, and porcupine. And ta-da! He pushed Turkey around in front of him for you, a turkey for Thanksgiving. There's a lot of company now. I hope they're maintaining social distance. Mrs. Moose clapped her hooves. I'm so happy to have you, Turkey. Thank you, Mr. Moose. Now everything's perfect. Shall we, sir? Sheep asked, heading for the straight up and down chair. Let's, Mrs. Moose pointed, rabbit here. Porcupine here. Mr. and Mrs. Goat here and look. 
I brought a chair from the other room in hopes of a turkey. A chair, Turkey stammered, right next to me, Mrs. Moose said. Light the candles, Mr. Moose. They have a chair for turkey. There were bowls of acorns and alfalfa sprats dried since summer. There was willow bark and cured grasses and wild parsley. There were pressed leaves thin and pale as a new ice on a pond. I hope you find something here to your liking, Mr. Turkey, Mrs. Moose said. I wasn't sure of your taste. You are so kind to worry about my taste, Turkey said. I thought you'd be worried about having how I tasted. Uh-oh, so Turkey thought he was coming to be a part of the dinner, but he's part of the company, right? Heavens no, Mr. Moose smiled his big tooth smile and filled everyone's cup with cold spring water. It's so nice to have friends around the table at Thanksgiving. Turkey's waddles wobbled. It's even nicer to be at your table and not on it, he said. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Well, that's a nice ending to the story. Raise your hand if you learned something new while we were reading the turkey for Thanksgiving. Good job. Can I see more hands? Did you like the story? Thumbs up? Yes? Maybe? I'm not going to do the other one because I can't tolerate that one if that one's happened. So yes and maybe. You like the story? I love it. Thank you for the feedback. You know what my wish is for you? That during this Thanksgiving season and throughout that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, but more importantly, I need to make sure you are safe. I want to thank you for paying attention to the book as we were reading, but I really want to thank you for letting me spend time with you. This is my Thanksgiving wish to make sure that we can continue to have these opportunities where we can read together because reading is fun. So as we begin to end our reading, are you ready to do the wobble, 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 and the gobble, gobble, and the woe as we go? All right, stand up where you are, brain break before you begin your next assignment, and let's do the wobble, 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 and hit the woe. All right, thank you for reading. I think you're wonderful, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Let's do this. You ready? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And strut, strut, strut. Good job. Do a wobble, wobble, wobble. Wobble, wobble, wobble. And then we got stuck. And then we got stuck. And then we got stuck. Whoa. Whoa. Yes, good job. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank you guys for allowing me to spend time with you. Be safe. Good job, guys. I see you, Mr. Wright. Thank you all for, thank you guys for letting me read to them. You all have a great Thanksgiving and make sure you pay attention in class. Oh, there's a turkey. You see the turkey? Should we eat it or invite it to eat with us? Invite it to eat with us. Eat it. I like that. I like that. Good job, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Oh, Happy Thanksgiving. He wrote a note. You have a great one, too. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Virtual Bye. hugs. Virtual hugs. Virtual hugs. Bye.